Good afternoon, sir. Yeah, good afternoon to everyone. Can you hear me? Is my voice is clear? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, right. See, guys, yesterday I had given one assignment to you uh, regarding the DME process and uh, how we can do the configuration and all. So right now, so this is the time uh, to explore ourselves. So anyone uh, explain this concept uh, for the 15 minutes of time? Anyone? At least 10, 5 minutes. <laughs> yeah, I will start with. Uh, I will start with one by one. Ahmad, yeah, please say something about uh, DME process and what you are learning during these sessions. Just explain. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Sir. DME is a data medium Excel format after uh, um, uh, after one after uh, uh, automatic payment from the, the DME format and format sent to the bank after after the payment after the payment the EPS will be processed after the cancellation the working process uh, work process will be the uh, um, like on the company my company and uh, the other side of the bank bank will be set on one side. They discuss it head ahead. A later part will be set up with the company. A later part will be will be set up with the bank. What is the process? After that, after that, uh, after that, uh, after that uh, some unit testing is the again uh, uh, integration test, uh, MIT test, MIT MIT test. Um, after that. Uh, after, uh, after the, the bank will bank will be provided uh, the, their side of the their, their side of the uh, their response person responsibility uh, company code the uh, currency the currency um, uh, the they prefer uh, the prefer one side of the currency maybe they uh, prefer one name say SIPA format okay you are for the European country SIPA format the tree will be uh, uh, SIPA SIPA city tree. They, they we will select uh, uh, standard form or we, or we, we will uh, can take one of the uh, format. So, after that, um, after, after the session, the, the setting the file, uh, setting the file is SIPA for non SAP to PI, form, PI interface uh, structure. After that, uh, they, 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 they set to payment for. Uh, uh, CVC permit. Okay, then explain about the files, right? And yes, sir. Yeah, please explain that. Okay, fine. Uh, who is next? And you need to prepare well, uh, Ahmad. Okay, right. So next, BH ready. Yeah, say something about the uh, DME file format, etc. <coughs> Your voice is not audible. BH ready. Oh, sir. Yeah, a little bit very low. Actually, I have some personal work, sir, on outside. Uh, okay. Yes. I will, I will do, sir. Okay, tomorrow you will explain. Okay. Oh, yes, Next, uh, Bikshapati, can you explain? Sir, sir, I am in office. Uh, I will explain later, sir. Okay. Reka. Uh, DME means data medium exchange. When AP, what happens in SAP is when APP run in F110 is executed, then DME file format is created automatically. Uh, this DME file format is sent to bank for payment to the suppliers. Once payment is done, bank will send EBS to client. Then auto reconciliation is done. In DME implementation stage, first is scoping, where the team is involved in the, pro uh, involved in the project is decided like client side who is participating, bank side who is involved, who is responsible for creating banks, payment methods, all everything is decided. As FICO consultant, I was responsible for DME preparation. 
then next stage is mom meeting in this whatever discussions happened with client and other team members those are written in email and sent to all team members what are payment methods for which bank we are doing configuration which is who is responsible for which role everything will be included in this mail then sign off happens next uh, next stage is requirement gathering here for which bank we need to configure dme file format which payment method other, other relevant information given is, is given by client treasury team will uh, open an account for this bank and then master data team will create house bank i have implemented dme for lloyds bank i was responsible for preparation of payment methods like domestic and foreign payment methods i have taken sipa file format according to our client's requirement and i have customized customized according to them uh, then change request is given from uh, by the bank so according to that i have changed configuration in dme tree i have done all these in development then it is moved to quality where unit testing is done then users perform uat testing the outbound process is xml file generated in sap should be should be go should go to the bank through pi ssa interfaces uh these uh, interfaces are linked to swift through swift these xml files are distributed to banks this is what happens in uh, SAP, uh, dme implementation in sap okay fine uh, and uh, so don't say change request from the banks okay if change request is different and uh, bank requirement you can say bank requirement okay sir okay Okay, fine. Uh, next, uh, we will explain. Ashpal, Asil Basha, Vasanta Kumar, Tulsi Nath, Shivarama Krishna, Sharif. Sir, I will explain. Yeah, please. So, uh, I have implemented the DME configuration for the Poland client. So, the okay. client has the requirement that they want to make the domestic payments. Within the European region, where the uh, where I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, sir, I mean, I mean, sir, I mean, explain data assist. Yeah, please go ahead. So, uh, so they want to make the domestic payments where the euro currency is involved. So, first thing, uh, I have a uh, scheduled a meeting where I have gathered the client requirements, and also have a uh, have. Uh, I have spoken to the bank people and also taken the requirements from them and I have created a scope project, uh, scope document. In the document, the details about the uh, DME configuration uh, like the bank requirements, requirements and the end result of this uh, DME configuration were present. And later after that, coming to the configuration part, first thing I have created a format. So in SAP there are uh, pre-existing SIPA format, so I've copied it and then later I've gone to the DME transaction code where I've selected the earlier copied format and then I have made the changes as per the bank requirements and client requirements. So the fields in this DME can be grouped into three sections. So these three sections contain different tests. For example, if the bank want the message ID to be 15 characters, so that should be customized in each test. So according to the bank requirements and client requirements, I have uh, even attached the additional tests. And then after that, I have mapped it accordingly with the tree. And after that, I have uh, um, uh, performed the testings. And then af after taking the approvals, I've moved it to the testing, where the testing have done the testing on it. And then later it would move to the production. The bank for which I have uh, implemented this DME was ING Bank. And also the SIPA has to uh, like comply with the ISO uh, requirements. So that I ensured. So uh, this was a procedure followed me, po followed by me in this uh, DME configuration. And you just didn't explain the configurations and T codes, etc. 
Yes, sir. OPMV1, DMEE, OPMV4, FBZP. FBZP where I linked with the like a bank with the payment method and also ranking order have changed. So you need to assign the file format, right? You need to assign yes. the file format to payment method. Yes, sir. Right. Okay, in OBPM in OBPM one, what we can do? OBPM one, OBPM four, you are asking, sir. OBPM one. OBPM one, we will create format, no, sir. Format. Okay, so uh, you didn't say what kind of format it is, XML or flat file that you didn't yes, say. Yes, sir. I forgot that I have created XML file. There are many different variants which are available, like flat file, XML, etc. So I have selected XML as per the requirements of client. So then yeah, I have later explained the uh, how many teams which will be participated and uh, you know uh, minutes of meeting what happened is all stuff uh, that you forget. OK, anyhow, nice explanation, but we need uh, more perfection on this area. Um, okay. So uh, next who is uh, uh, Shabana, you will explain. Shabana will explain. Sir, tomorrow I will explain. OK. <laughs> I sir, I uh, I will try uh, for this time. Yes, yes, go ahead. Okay. Okay. Mm, okay. Pretty DME much, is. <coughs> because Ashok, okay. this is one kind uh, of. Is it audible, sir? How you can explain? That is important. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, uh, data, okay. Mm. Data medium exchange. Uh, it is a is a payment method we use it for payment for the vendors in the. Uh, um, uh, uh, while doing the app configuration while doing the app configurations uh, while running the app uh, we will get the form uh, sap download a format we will uh, we, we will upload that uh, uh, that for payment medium format into bank uh, bank servers later they will they give uh, they will pay they will payments they will pay to vendors after that, uh, they will send the uh, uh, revert back to the EBS statement. After uh, uh, uploading the EBS statement, the generally the our SAP reconciles the bank statements. This is the normal process uh, for the creation of uh, banks. Um, normally, uh, SAP has provided so many DME formats. Uh, the DME format should be dependent upon the uh, based upon the bank requirements and uh, business requirements. Um, uh, uh, actually, uh, we have to uh, we have to um, touch base with the bank team uh, uh, to get the file formats and deals with the bank team. Uh, we will sh we, we have to create a DME format uh, as per bank um, requirements and specifications. Um, uh, the, um, uh, SAP has uh, given so many standard formats. Also, we we can use the standard formats or we can customize the uh, as per the, our requirements. Um, um okay uh, we will uh, in the fj bjp configuration we give uh, payment method as per at, at country level we have to give the uh, the uh, dme configuration at uh, payment medium method uh, for create a dme format uh, so um, normally dme formats are two um, so many uh, two three formats are the generally we use xml xml format and file format as per of our client uh, we use um, it is a uh, euro based uh, euro currency based uh, company okay we use a sepa for uh, sepa file format it is xml format uh, for that uh, we have to create um, um uh, the in the uh, we uh, okay after uh, uh, run, uh, running the app generally all the bank file format after running the bank file formats, uh, the bank file will be stored at uh, our local database and a11 path we can see that in uh, a11 path uh, for creation of uh, dme okay uh, if it is not uh, customized uh, as per requirements we have to create uh, our dme file file format for that we the normal t codes are for creation of uh, dme formats we have dme uh, obpm uh, obpm1 and for creation of variant and assign to that variant to our uh, file format for it is obpm4 like we use like this we use whenever we use uh, dme format we, we we have to um, we, we have to forget the classical format like we have to use only payment medium format only 
uh, for that uh, for the configuration we have for, for the configuration of the dme we require normal like uh, bank accounts house bank accounts and uh, bank ids uh, we have to deal with the uh, treasury team and banking team they will take care of bank accounts opening and bank accounts like this mm, um, uh, bank ids um, adding sir uh before you uh, we have to uh, we have uh, deal, uh, creation of uh, dme for permit we, um, we we have to ask the client before doing the configuration what is what, how many bank accounts are they maintaining and what currency what, what currency they are using and uh, uh, any interfaces are used and uh, what formats are they are looking for and uh, bank master sanity check like this we have to uh, gather information by asking a questionnaire Um, okay. Yeah. Very nice. Nice explanation. Uh, yes, uh, this uh, this kind of explanation is required. Okay, I'm expecting this kind of. Uh, okay, uh, I forgot other concepts also because the business requirement uh, other concepts. Yeah, but any also you prepare well. Next time try to explain at least 15 minutes. Okay, and I'll add okay. all all I'll add all points which we discussed during the sessions. Okay, we'll be. I will prepare the script, sir. Okay, then uh, who is next? Gopi, what about you? Yesterday, who explained? Uh, one uh, one madam explained, right? I said, what 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 is her name? Bhavana. I think she is not there. Uh, Tulsi Nath, Shivaram Krishna, Sharif, Sharath Sharath, Raju, Narayana Swami, Chandra Shekhar, anyone? Okay guys, this kind of explanation is required to crack the interview. Okay, in the first single attempt, we can clear the interview. If you explain like that. So uh, my expectation is the same. Two people explained correctly, but uh, other people making some mistakes. Even um, just make a draft and uh, based on these two conversations, uh, just make a draft. And next time, please come up with answers. Okay. Uh, today. Okay, I'm closing this call. Uh, today I will discuss about the IDO concept. 